Hi friends, it's Miss Heather here. I am going to get to read you guys this really cool book about our Earth. It's called I Am Earth. It's by Rebecca and James McDonald. They are the authors. Let's do our I Can statement. I can talk about changing seasons. Say it with me. I can talk about changing seasons. And we're going to get to listen to what Earth, our planet, has to say about himself so that we can learn all about the different seasons and the weather and what we can get from our planet. I am Earth. You live on me. On the inside, I am very hot. On the outside, I'm the perfect temperature for life. I travel around the sun and keep you warm. As I spin, day turns to night, and night turns to day. When I tilt away from the sun, it becomes fall and winter. When I tilt toward the sun, it becomes spring and summer. The sun is so big that it holds me and seven other planets in space with its gravity. Can you say gravity? Together with moons, comets, asteroids, and other space objects, we make a solar system. Just like the sun, I have gravity. My gravity keeps the moon circling around me and holds you to the ground. Gravity keeps the air you breathe and the water you drink from drifting into space. Without gravity, things would just float away. When you see me from space, I look blue, green, brown, and white. The blue is the water that covers me. The green and brown are the land which you live on. And the white is from the clouds and snow. Clouds drop water on the land below. And when it gets cold, the clouds drop snowflakes, dusting everything white. Rain and snow fill up the lakes and rivers, giving all living things water to drink. Even the food you eat is grown by my rich brown soil. I'm very unique, just like you. I have all the right things to keep you healthy and safe, like clean air, water, and food. I'm not too hot and not too cold, and I hold you close so I won't let you float away. But you have to help me by keeping me healthy and clean. Because if I get sick, the air gets sick, and the water gets sick, and the ground gets sick, and that's not good for anyone. Right now, I am the only planet you can live on. If we work together, we can keep me the best place to live. Here are some things you can do to help the earth be the best it can be. Recycle. Find out what can be recycled and start recycling. Don't litter. Put garbage in the garbage cans. Reuse. Use things more than once if you can, like paper bags and glass jars. Save energy. Turn off the lights when you don't need them. Don't waste water. Even though there's lots of water on Earth, there's only a small amount that we can actually drink. So let's not waste it. Can you think of other ways to help the Earth stay a happy, healthy home? Remember to tell all your family and friends so they can help too. That was such a good book, friends. I really liked how the Earth talked to us about all the different things that it gives us and how it takes care of us. Did you see how all of what the Earth was doing out in space helped us to have our seasons and our day and night? I hope you guys learned a lot from the Earth talking to us in that book. Bye, friends. Thank you.